today I was starting some of my cool weather seeds and I was going to show you uh, the new way I'm starting seeds. I'm, I'm copying my neighbor. He always starts his seeds in these metal trays and they're about about four inches deep or five inches or so. These are just the cheap ones. They cost one dollar each. And instead of uh, using potting soil or seed starting soil, I just got some uh, dirt from the woods. It's mostly just sand. That's what my neighbor always does, and he always has uh, so many plants he has to give them away. And I, I don't have too much success, at least not last year, so I'm copying him this year. And today I started, uh, let's see what I have here, perpetual spinach. I got three trays of perpetual spinach. I've been wanting to, to try it. It's a very interesting plant. It's a chard, but it uh, tastes like spinach. But since it's a chard, it won't bolt during the, the summertime like uh, like spinach does. It's very interesting. I look forward to trying it. And I started uh, three trays of just regular chard. I got Ford hook chard and rainbow chard. And I tra started some mustard seeds. For mustard mustard greens, and I got three trays of kale. I got two scarlet kale and one. Uh, I think it says blue kale. And then something new this year is uh, red Welsh onions. They're a bunching onion, and I've never grown them before, and I wasn't really sure if I'm starting them too early or not. So it'll be interesting to see if they grow. I'll be sure and uh, do updates on these, <coughs> let you know if uh, using dirt from the woods works or not. I didn't add anything new to my gardens this fall. They still have plenty. I'll show you how much leaves are in it. You can see that's about a little over six inches or so deep with leaves. Next, uh, next fall I'll add some more. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.